This American hates Australia. US rapper Azalea Banks cancels the Brisbane show because she said Australia made her utterly miserable. Oh, Azalea, Azalea, haven't you just opened a whole kettle of wombats? First of all, let me start this video off with something absolutely obvious. Australia is gorgeous. It's wonderful. Natural beauty, stunning wildlife, 80,000 years of amazing human history. The cities are, well, they're pretty clean. Yeah. Traffic is basically non-existent unless you live in Sydney and let's be honest, who the, can't swear yet in the video, but who the F word wants to live in Sydney? Have I stretched this video out long enough where I can actually swear? Because I really want to have a crack at this lady. Okay, my timer says not yet. Um, incredible food, amazing architecture, hilarious bearded men. Are we at the 30 seconds mark where YouTube won't demonetize this? Are we? Good. Hey, Azalea Azalea Banks, fuck you to the moon. Fuck you so much, you miserable little shit. So this Azalea reckons she can just turn up on our shores because she had a one hit fucking wonder a couple of years ago. I can't even remember the name of the song. All right, so you're not that fucking good, babe. I'm sure she'll keep the fairy tale alive in her head that she's some megastar for the next 10 years, but eventually it'll get to her when people only want to hear one song. So stick that up your ass. Anyway, before she fades into obscurity, she went on a tour of Australia. And people were pumped for it, apparently, until Banks was due to perform in Brisbane at the Tivoli on Tuesday night, but took to Instagram to unleash on Australia before the promoter confirmed in a statement the show was cancelled and all ticket holders would be refunded. Now this is something you never want to do in the entertainment game. You never want to cancel a show. It's a fate worse than death. I've only cancelled one show in my entire life and that was because I had to go to the uh, doctors with my wife and we got a scan, our first scan with our, uh, with our baby. Uh, and and uh, I'm sorry to the people in Hamilton in New Zealand that I had to cancel that show. But family comes first and also fuck off. It's a baby. I'm so pumped. But then old Banksy, you see, she canned the Melbourne show. She cancelled that and she blamed visas, but then went and played in Sydney. But then she also decided to cancel Brisbane. So what's going on, babe? Well, we found out what's going on. On Tuesday, the 31-year-old, fucking grow up, you're 31. Uh, 212 hit maker. Yeah, one song. Good shit, babe. Uh, aired her grievances with Australia. I'm so sorry, you guys. Actually, I'm not sorry. Why'd well, you start it? Whatever. But listen, last time I was in Brisbane and y'all threw shit on the stage and damn near almost fucking hit me in the face with a fucking bottle of soda or whatever the shit was, she said in a video. And that sucks. You don't want to be having shit thrown at you. Like, I've had bad experiences in towns. I went to Coffs Harbour the home of the big banana. And uh, I was there at the start of the year and all these bikies turned up to fight me after the show because I said a joke that they deemed offensive. So yeah, I had bad experiences. Hey, Coffs Harbour, eat my ass. Uh, but you just fucking get over it, mate. You realise it's one bad egg or a couple of bad eggs or a couple of bad eggs on bikes. And then you just get over it and you get back into it. My point is, I know where you're coming from. But then she went on with this. That's like the most racist, most fucking demoralizing experience of my life. And right now I'm on a really good track. Why is it racist? Why are you, why? <laughs> Somebody threw something at you and you immediately assume it was because of your race? Maybe he just didn't like you. Maybe he was just being a dickhead. Maybe he was blind drunk off his face. All right, it's a dumb thing to do. Don't throw things at people, obviously. But don't assume it's race. But then she said this shit. I am a beautiful black woman. As if you can take anyone seriously who says that about themselves. And I'm not going to get in front of some audience of white people <laughs> for them to throw shit at me. You're a solid seven, babe. You're not a beautiful black woman. You're a seven. Get over yourself. I am not sorry. <laughs> I am so not sorry. You're 31. Learn how to talk. I am so not sorry at all, Brisbane. You're just gonna have to take the L and smoke it. That's crazy. You're telling people who paid good money to come and see you live to take the L and smoke it. But also, imagine if anyone of any other color said, I'm a beautiful white woman. You gotta fucking respect me. I'm a beautiful white man with a beard. 
Why doesn't anyone like me? You sound like a fucking idiot, Azealia Banks. God. You need a fucking reality check, love. The world doesn't revolve around you and your one hit wonder. Wake up to yourself, pull your head in, and kindly, for the love of all that's holy, shut the fuck up. I like to tell Azalea, Azalea Banks to go and suck a dick, but then again, this was her last Instagram post. Ha! <laughs> huh, she beat me to it. Point Productions, who produced the show, then released a statement confirming the show would not go ahead due to unforeseen circumstances. It's another way of saying the artist that we booked is a complete pain in the Fucking ass, can you, this is not even worth the profit. Banks has previously criticised Australia, calling her performance at Splendour in the Grass in 2015 a waste of my fucking time. I'd like to apologise to everyone who's bought tickets to her fucking show. Worked hours at their job. I don't know how much she fucking charges. Maybe they work six hours to buy a fucking ticket to this woman's show. And then she's looking at you going, I'll take the elbow. And then to pull the race card on why you're not going, I bet old mate who threw the fucking bottle of soda at you did it because you're an absolute fuckwit. Now, on the topic of absolute fuckwits, I have received some correspondence that I'm going to share with you today. It is an email. And I'm not going to tell you who it's from because I promised the person who it's related to, one of my friends, that I wouldn't share those details because it could affect their business. Now, I often hit up a lot of different venues and places for different things that I do, like comedy shows and things like that. And I've been knocked back a whole heap of times because some people don't like me, and that's fine. That's, it is what it is. But this one pissed me off because it affects you. The audience that watches these videos, it affects you. We approached somewhere to do something and the queen fucking Karen on the other end of the fucking email carried on like an absolute pork chop. We were doing well, all right? We got the yes, let's do it, sounds great. And then this fucking bitch turns up and carries on like an absolute cunt. This was their response and this is why they said no. I also wanted to note that Isaac Butterfield's openly homophobic, transphobic, racist, Islamophobic, misogynistic, and fatphobic views do not align with the beep. You forgot arachnophobic and claustrophobic, you stupid bitch. Also, I'd love to name and shame her. I know what her name is. I looked at her photo and she looks exactly how you think she would. Hasn't had any dick in 40 fucking years and got a bush bigger than the fucking Amazon. Anyway, <clears throat> we would not be willing to work with him and give him a platform to continue to promote his extremely hateful ideals. So much there to unpack. Homophobic, transphobic, racist, Islamophobic, arachnophobic, uh, misogynistic and transphobic views. I can't believe a professional adult, like a 40 year old woman, wrote that and genuinely believed it. Like, imagine the fucking head noise that's going on with you every day. I think the only way I can describe her, and because I haven't named her, I can say this. Lady, you are a fucking dumb As for giving me a fucking platform, I'm talking to hundreds of thousands of people every week. Your shitty little venue isn't going to do shit. Not to be a fucking, not to sound up myself, but fucking fuck off. I've been knocked back by venues before, as I said. The uni bar in fucking Wollongong won't have me because I'm illegal. <laughs> the Canberra University uh, Theatre, this beautiful theatre that I've done before, had a great time. Staff were awesome and I'm banned from there as well. Like, people will continue. There's this place in Newcastle called, called Tomago House, I think it's called. I might be wrong. And they allegedly replied with basically saying this and I'm, you know, I'm paraphrasing. It was a while ago. Uh, we wanted to do a ghost hunt there. And they said, uh, we would not be willing to have Isaac Butterfield at Tomago House, allegedly, because his views do not align with Tomago's house. You're a house. You don't have views. You're a house. And I'm sure this particular house, if it was Tomago, if it wasn't, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have named you. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you would call me a racist and a sexist and, and homophobic, even though I work on that show, that ghost show. Devil's Advocate, that uh, we've got a new episode coming up anyway. Uh, even though I work with uh, three women, two elderly women and my wife, they're the other people on the show, and one of the guys that work with work on the show as well is gay. Like, 
come on. The point of all of this is to say that Azealia Banks and the, 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 the Bush lady that wrote that email and the house people, fuck you all to the moon. You self-important All you do is virtue signal and carry on like dickheads. I saw one of the uh, websites that I'm talking about here and I won't reveal what it was. The front page isn't to advertise what they have on at the venue, isn't to talk about the venue, is a welcome to country. This is what they're doing. They are virtue signaling. Look how woke we are. Come on in, we're so woke. Fuck off. No one gives a shit, mate. You're not doing anything for Aboriginal people. A welcome country doesn't do shit. Anyway, stick it out your ass, the lot of you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna watch my stand-up show from this year, head over to Patreon and uh, or become a member on this YouTube channel. It is only 99 cents a month uh, on YouTube and $1 a month, an extra cent, ooh, on Patreon. So head over there, uh, head over here, head over anywhere and you can go and watch it. It was recorded in Perth. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, meet extincts, toodle blah 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 blah.